Coming up next, how good is this? A matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. All right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is gonna maximize it and leave as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. And now our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Two years apart, these two fighters with the same height and some differences in reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 20 wins, 11 losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Monterey, Mexico, presenting the challenger, the behemoth. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 34 wins, two losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Awesome. All right, this is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. So without further delay, here we go. Round one is underway. It's the UFC welterweight championship. And there is the champion out of the red corner working his way to the center of the octagon. He has defended this belt in the past and believes if he can do so again tonight. And here and still, he could go down as one of the greatest 170-pound fighters in UFC history. In order to do just that, he has said, I've got to get off to a good start here tonight. We'll see if he attacks offensively here. Now he's on top of And him. that's going to do it. Unbelievable! 
Yes, sir, it goes into the books as a first round win by knockout, near perfect execution. The technique was absolutely gorgeous. And again, when you catch a guy early, maybe you're getting him pulled before he's had a chance to work up a sweat or even get into the fight a little bit, those strikes can have a bigger effect and it certainly did here tonight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 47 seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. So his welterweight greatness continues tonight and still UFC champion. I think on nights like tonight, you're glad you don't fight at 170 pounds. This dude's a problem. I mean, he is a problem for anybody, anybody within the weight area. If he decides to go up, he's a problem at 185. He decides to go down, he's a problem at 155. He is just that good a fighter. Congratulations to the champ on retaining his title.